Hi guys and welcome to this makeup tutorial. So let's start off by covering your eyebrow. I already have a video on that but it's in Portuguese so I'm gonna cut it short for you. To hide your eyebrows you need to cover them using the glow sticks. Those purple glow sticks are awesome for that. Using a spoolie brush all your hairs up so they will lay flat against your skin. After they're brushed, you can use a spatula to make them even more flat. With your fingers wet, blend all excess glue because they can show up after applying makeup. After it dries, you can apply some powder over it and repeat the process. For my eyebrows, I need to do that at least 5 times. It's a little bit time consuming so you can find something to do between layers. I, for example, made one of Jessica's gloves while waiting for the glue to dry. But you can also speed up the process using a hair dryer. If there is still some blue or green shade on your eyebrows or even on your beard, apply coral, something between orange and pink eyeshadow to those areas. Then you can apply your foundation. Don't be like me and always prime your face before applying your foundation. For the eyebrows area, I found foundation sticks the best because they are so creamy and offer so much coverage. I'm applying concealer under my eyes and over my eyelids to prime them and blending with the beauty blender. Now it's time to contour. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette, taking the darkest brown. If you're a guy, don't apply too high on your cheeks because it's gonna make you look even more masculine since your jaw will look bigger. I'm using the same brown to change my jawline shape a little bit. I'm also contouring my neck and blending my jawline to it. Apply a lighter tone over your cheekbones and above your jawline. But be careful, if you have a strong jawline, don't do that because it will make it look even more accentuated. Using a light brown eyeshadow, I'm drawing the shape of my new eyelid, which ends right at the top of my real eyebrow. I'm also sketching a new eyebrow. Using a darker brown shadow, I'm creating the crease of our fake eyelid. Paint the whole eyelid with white. I'm using Catherine Hills Clown Makeup, which is my favorite cream makeup, and they have so many different colors. I'm also making the eyebrows a little bit darker with cream brown eyeliner. Back to the eyelids, I first apply white eyeshadow over the whole area, then a lavender shade over the white, avoiding the middle area. Then I use some more different shades of violet and purple, and the darker the shade, the farthest away it should be from the middle. When I get my darkest purple, I apply just to the outer side of the eyelid and gently blend it. Use a cream eyeliner to trace the outer edge of the eyelids. Make it thinner when it gets closer to the top. I'm also using the cream eyeliner to define the eyebrows even more. You can also use concealer or a light cream makeup like I'm using to highlight your fake brow bone under your eyebrow. For the waterline, I'm using a light cream colored eye pencil. Apply your eyeliner to your upper lids very close to your lashes and your lower lids, making it thinner as you reach the center of the eye. Make your contour more dramatic using brown eyeshadow. I'm using a red lipstick and applying it following Jessica's mouth shape. That means I'm not applying it all the way to the sides and I'm also making my lips look thicker. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to the camera when I was applying my eyelashes, but yeah, just apply it like a normal pair of eyelashes. No secrets. Now it's time to put on the wig. I made this lace front wig myself, that is, it fits my head size and hairline perfectly. You can learn how to make and style your own custom lace front wigs on my Patreon. Every month I'm making and styling a character's wig, and there's so many different techniques to learn on each video, so check it out! That completes our glam version of Jessica Rabbit, but I know you're here for another reason, so let's make it scary! Take off your wig and all the makeup from the mouth area. Start sketching your crazy bunny mouth with a dark eyeshadow. Paint the teeth using creamy makeup. I'm of course using Catherine Hill's clown makeup. Separate the teeth shapes using a brown eyeshadow and then define them using black eyeliner. Fill the rest of the mouth using black clown makeup. You can totally use body paint or even your eyeliner, just make it black. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, do it! I always post some funny behind the scenes on my stories. Yay. Draw the lips using the lipstick and a brush. 
contour them with black and using the same lipstick paint your bunny nose. Also add some highlights to the teeth using white, this way they're gonna look more realistic. Add some highlights with white to the lips and the nose. I make the contour of the face the same way I did for the glam version, but this time in different places and shapes. We're gonna create the smile wrinkles with creamy contour makeup and accentuate the darkest parts with a smaller brush and a darker brown eyeshadow. Apply some white for your bunny cheeks, blend it, create some more smile wrinkles and draw some bunny whiskers with eyeliner. Put your wig on and you're ready to scare some people. I hope you guys try to do that for Halloween and I'd love to see how it turned out. See you in the next video! Eu não posso nem usar essa mão, essa mão, tá bom já?